Making a design in AutoCAD is more than just drawing lines and circles. It's a complex process that has been developed so that we can create complex designs. One of the keys to efficient CAD work is to organize your data. A model space is meant to be a three-dimensional area in AutoCAD and a two-dimensional area in AutoCAD LT where you can draw and create your design. Your design needs may not include three-dimensional models, only two-dimensionals, and that's fine. But regardless of how many dimensions your design requires, the model for it belongs in model space. Let's look at some examples. Open up the dimension example drawing. This is an example of a two-dimensional model. Now go to model space. The only thing in here is the line work. If we do a zoom extents, that's all that's here. All of these layers are turned on and thawed, so we can see everything that's here. We have our line work. That's it. Now let's go to paper space, and you can pick any of these tabs. The only thing here are our dimensions. I can't pick any of the line work because they're in a viewport. So there's no line work here. This is a very simple example, but it's very clear. And sometimes the lines between model space and paper space can become blurred, and it's okay. So let's go and make a new layout tab. I'll show you how to do this. You come down to your tabs, right click, and you can right click on any of them and select the new layout button. And it creates a new layout. It's right here, it puts it at the end, and it's called layout one. Click it to activate it. Now when you create a new layout, a viewport is automatically generated and it's created on the current layer. Well, let's move that to a viewport layer. That will let us manage the viewport. Now, one thing you can do, if you come down to a tab, let's look at this one that has all the dimensions on it, right click on it, and we showed you how to do a new layout, but you can also copy a layout. If you hit move or copy, and select the create a copy option, let's move it to the end, and it called it Dimension 2. Now it literally made a copy of the Dimension tab. They're identical. Now that's a great trick to use, especially if you have a title block already filled out. Any information that's in it, a viewport that's set to a specific scale, all of these things are very important and it can save you a lot of time because many times we need to create a similar drawing but yet is a little bit different. Once you're created a viewport, you can double click inside that viewport to activate temporary model space. So now I'm working in model space, even though I'm in paper space. And you'll note that when I move my crosshairs out of that viewport, I just get the little arrowhead instead. I can't draw over here. I can only draw with what's in here. And it's in model space. I can't select these text objects. I can edit this drawing all that I want to but I can't edit my text. Now the viewport is locked, as you can see here. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. But I'm now in temporary model space, or some people call it floating model space. To get out of it, I double click somewhere on the side. Or these tab buttons right here, I can click and it will activate a viewport in my layout paper space tab. And if I click it again, it brings me back into paper space. Now when we're in a viewport, we can freeze certain items. Double click in the viewport to activate it. Pick the freeze, lay freeze, layer freeze, and let's freeze those center lines. So I see I don't need them. Okay, now let's say that we needed to make a drawing that showed just the outline of the bracket so that someone can go find their steel plate and cut it out for us. And then once that's cut out, we'll give it to someone else and they can burn in the holes for us. We can activate this viewport. We can freeze the holes, freeze the center lines, enter, go back to paper space, use the delete command or erase and get rid of these dimensions that we don't need that show where the holes are. 
And with just a few couple of clicks and a very quick copy, we've created two different drawings from the same drawing. That's what viewports can do for you. And that's why it's important to put your model in model space and your text or your annotations in paper space. Now I can click on one of these tabs, hold it, and I can drag it, and I can reposition it in here, similar to using like a spreadsheet. So now I can quickly get to either tab. And I've created a whole new drawing, but I'm using the same exact line work. 